Are you thinking about buying a house but you don't know where to start? Then my next video is a must watch for you. If you're looking to buy a house but you don't know where to start then you've come to the right place. I'm going to share with you six tips that you can use today to save you a lot of money, time and aggravation. My name is Mark Schreier and I'm a licensed sales associate with Century 21 American Homes Real Estate right here in Long Island, New York. Uh, these six, six tips, as simple as they are, they do work. So tip number one, know where you want to live. Only you can decide where that is. Do your research. The average homeowner takes about 18 months from the time they start their search to the time they're sitting in their uh, sunroom or living room having a uh, cup of coffee. So make sure if you're thinking about moving in about two years, you start that research now. And what you should do, think about neighborhoods, think about proximity to the water. We're here on Long Island. If you want to live close to the shore, then think, check out the towns there. Check out the school districts. Ask friends and family if they're happy where they live. Maybe you go visiting somebody on a regular basis and you like that area. We'll start researching it now before you start making offers. And the, bless, the best place to do that is starting online. Research the town, research um, uh, schools, everything you can find online by just uh, Googling. Okay, number two, your budget. Uh, besides location, budget is very, very important. How much do you actually want to spend on this investment? It's probably going to be one of the largest investments of your lifetime. So make sure you know your numbers. The worst thing for people to do is when they shop for a house and they finally find a house they love and then they realize they can't afford it wasted all that time and they get very disappointed. So sit down with a mortgage professional and you can find them the same way um, you find any type of person or professional that you need. Ask friends, relatives for recommendations and they will give you a pretty good idea of the numbers that you have to work with. If you're 18 months out, one tip I would share if you're 18 months or two years out, you don't necessarily have to run your credit, but you can give them all your numbers. And then when you get closer to purchasing a house, you want to get pre-approved where you run your numbers and uh, run a true credit report so you're ready to go if, in fact, you find a house of your dreams and you want to place that order, uh, that offer. And I'm going to include another video that I made just on that fact, how to get all your ducks lined up in a row in a very competitive market. We interrupt my video for a special housekeeping announcement. If you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. Please remember to subscribe and click the bell for notifications. The name of the channel is Real Estate 101. Everything you need to know about buying and selling residential real estate. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. If you weren't too thrilled, shh, don't tell anybody. Also, please remember to leave comments in the comment section below. I include in those comments uh, things you liked about this video. Also include topics that you'd like me to discuss in future videos. I'm trying to make a platform here of things that I wish I knew before I bought my first house. Now back to our video. Number three. Actually, I went into that already. Number three was the prequal. And number four, closing costs. When you are going to figure out how much money you need, make sure you account for closing costs. The more expensive the house is, the higher the closing costs are going to be. But make sure you consider that as well. And one other thing, when you're budgeting, you have to include your utilities in that, all the things you're going to pay monthly. If you have car payments, so you have utilities, you have car payments, you have homeowner's insurance. If you like the coast and you want to live close to the water, you might have flood insurance, which can be an expensive thing. So make sure you consider that. Any other expense you might pay on a monthly basis, the mortgage broker might not consider them into your um your numbers, but you should because you want to sort of maintain a certain lifestyle and you don't want to be hit with this uh, negative news after you're already in the house and realize where's my money going? Oh, I forgot to count all those other things into the into the mix. Number four, uh, number five, choose a realtor or or and a real estate attorney. And I say real estate attorney, an attorney that specializes in real estate because they will definitely, they have the experience and they will help the process run a lot smoother than an attorney who's a general practice attorney or specializes, uh, let's say, in litigation and they're doing you a favor. If they're not familiar with how the real estate process works, you can end up losing either a commitment on your interest 
or it could just be more problematic in the long run. And you can ask your attorney that you might know for a recommendation to somebody else if they don't feel comfortable uh, doing the actual closing. Number six, if you run your numbers and you realize you really can't afford or you're invest you don't want to invest that much money in the house where you want to live now in the type of house you want to get now should you either wait and continue saving over time or should you try to tweak certain things so you can make it work maybe get a smaller house maybe do other things sit down with a financial planner and see what can i do to get that house to work for me. Uh, there are different vehicles out there with less money down and the your mortgage professional will help you with that scenario. But sometimes you're set on a house, you want that house, don't let that be the reason why you don't move because you never know. In the future, your mortgage rates might be higher and even though you have more money now for a down payment, you can't afford it or it's sort of a wash because the mortgage rate, mortgage rates just went up and now you waited a year or two and your monthly nut is almost the same and your two years that you just paid rent. So do the math, think about it. If you have any comments or questions, definitely leave them below. This is Mark Schreier from Century 21 American Homes and thanks again for watching. Hello, yes, I'm talking to you, the person that watched my video to the very end. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like me on Facebook. I am a licensed real estate agent in New York State, but I also have a referral service that deals nationwide. So if you're looking for to buy or sell a house anywhere in the United States, please send me a text, contact me via phone, and I'll set you up with a local professional in your area. If you're in my vicinity, I'd be more than happy to help you out in any of your real estate transactions that you'd like. This is Mark Schreier from Century 21 American Homes, and I'll talk to you soon.